Hey Scorpio, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot, here doing the rest of your July love reading. This is a reading for Scorpio, Scorpio, whoop, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And let's get into this reading. Okay, this is going to be for the end of July. And then starting in August, I'm going to do a collective love reading for all signs. So keep your eye out for that. It's going to be a daily thing. Okay, Scorpio, we've got heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, perfection, and the sword and the rose. There's clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Okay, and you also have, oh, palm tree, stability, security, perform, no, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. So it looks like you're meeting the love of your life here, Scorpio, which is amazing. All right, let me take a look here and see. Meeting the love of your life, meeting the one who's meant for you. Um, revelation about this. There's truth. Okay, uh, let's see. This feels like clarity, clarity about love. The sword representing clarity and truth and the rose representing love and the palm tree representing stability, security, um, and absolute growth and flexibility as well, okay? Um, let's see, a, a relationship with a lot of flexibility and a getting together energy, okay? So this could be somebody new, could be somebody you're currently talking to. Uh, let's take a look at the rest of these messages here. Let's do a Celtic cross. Okay, past position. All right, Ace of Cups in the past. Could have been the near past. Uh, it could have been far back in the past. There was uh, potential for new love, falling in love, something occurring in your past that was just beautiful and wonderful, like a blessing, like a gift that made your heart very, very happy. Your current situation here is, okay, the Queen of Swords. So this is clarity, truth, being open and honest. Um, okay, let me see here. Could be somebody you're connecting with or that could be your energy and okay giving some truth about change here things are moving in your favor maybe getting honest with yourself um turning in your favor this is this is a shift the wheels are in motion here okay um let me see here what's going on you have clarity at this time which is beautiful and as some of you are just in this position where you're clear about what you want you want to move forward with love Okay, and driving you, wow, you've got the Ten of Cups, so this is beautiful energy. So you've got absolute harmony, union, family, connecting. Uh, this is like driving your desires, what you are seeking, what you want, the Ten of Cups, okay? What's crowning down on you is the Eight of Pentacles. So this is, you know, you've got work. <laughs> This is making something happen. This is consistency. This is working the day daily grind, okay, in your mind. And it feels like in your head, you you know that whatever, you know, whatever love or whatever you want to move forward, it, your mind says, you know, crowning down and you have to put effort in. You have to do this daily, consistent day after day after day day. Not, it's not grudge work. I mean, it's relationship. It's, it's like having a, a you know, a, a, potted flower you know you have to water it daily okay you gotta you gotta nourish it daily so it doesn't have to be overnourished because it'll be killed and undernourished it'll be killed or it'll wilt this is like okay a little bit each day a little bit each day to have things move forward and have that you know i feel like that that's what you're getting truthful about with yourself or what you're getting honest about not just in love but in order to attain um I don't know, it's an or it, it, just to have things turn around in your life, okay? Just to have this shift and this change. Let's see what's coming up in the near future for you, okay? Wow, okay. Whoa, five of swords, holy. <sighs> hmm, this is cutoff. This is a cutoff. Something's, something here about a cutoff happening. Um, this is a sharp contrast to what we're taking a look at prior. What is this five of swords about? Okay, hmm. So I see, this is putting the brakes on. I don't know what's going on here, Scorpio. I feel like you're, you're moving forward and you're in a good place. Um, you know what you want, but then like right towards the end of July, you put the brakes and then you're like, wait, I gotta, 
I gotta rethink this. I gotta weigh my options again. Is this really what I wanna do? You, you move forward and then you put the brakes on something. Okay, is this love? Is this um, other areas of your life? Other things going on? Um, work, career, family, health, whichever. Okay, um, it's like you know, you have clarity and you know that in order to get the wheels moving, you gotta put this effort in, but then you stop. You shut down or you shut other people off or you or you dip out. Because why? Because you're not sure. You you begin to doubt yourself or you have doubts or you, you get back into do I do I really want to or do I not want to? I'm not sure. Um, you get back into this weighing things up again. I feel like you were sure before, but something's showing here where you're not sure. Okay. Should and it's not like I don't feel like it's self-doubt or fear it's just more like well, I don't know if I really want this now <laughs> Scorpio what are you doing okay so let me see what your advice is here what is your advice wow page of swords um so it feels like you're Okay, so they're saying your advice here is to like sort some shit out. <laughs> this is a card of curiosity. Um, you're seeking some kind of answers. Your advice is to seek more clarity, to seek more answers. Uh, what do you need to seek answers about here? Oh, if, okay. For once, do you really want to be married? Do you really want to connect with this community? Do you really want to... Um, this is also a card of stalking, spying, watching, seeing. Um, do you really want to be seen with someone? Or do you really want to be just seen with a particular person, place, or thing, or people? Yeah, your advice is um, take a look at that because... I don't know if there's something here that you do you, it, it might just be like cutting off so you could just be with family maybe you just want to stay close to family and friends there's some type so let me just say this the four of wands represents it can represent family community events um marriage can represent commitment celebrations um parties things like that Let me see here. I feel like you you have your intentions are really good. It's something that you really want, but I also feel like you put the brakes on it at the end of July because you're not sh you're not sure. What is this? Oh, oh, the hermit. Okay, so there's something here about being on your own. Your this page, there might be some communication or something. You got your so your advice here is um, you got to talk to somebody um, because these two energies here are, are very like do I do I want to be alone or do I want to be with a particular person or be seen in a place or a thing or with someone? Okay. Yeah, your advice is like, you got to go within and figure out what it is that you really want because it feels like you communicated or you're communicating now at this time to move something forward, some change or something. And there's like this desire to have this joyousness, this connection, this like, um, so this is support and love and things like that. But then... In your head, it's kind of like, you know, I know I got to be consistent with something here and do something here, but it seems like you stop because you're you're weighing something. Now, you, maybe you have another option or you have two other options or you're putting the brakes on everything. Let me just get one more. Why are you putting the brakes on this? Oh, okay. Um, there's a Queen of Pentacles showing up here. Okay, this is the first, well, the second court card. So you have 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and they have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, male or female energy, it doesn't, there's something to do with someone coming forward as an earth sign or someone who sits in a position of stability and wealth and abundance. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> Hmm. Now, I don't know if this person comes in and causes this cutoff or if you cut it off because somebody shows up here or you rethink a whole process. Okay. Uh, it could be a friend, a lover, family member, whomever. Let's see what's external to you. Okay. Okay. External to you is the Three of Cups. This is, again, community, friends, fun. Um, sharing this is many people external to you okay and there's opportunity for money here to make some money um, there's an opportunity to invest people want to invest in you let me see Wow okay hang hey, man this is about like gaining new perspective and seeing something these people seeing something they've never seen before it could also be um, because it's the three, it feels like it's a bunch of people. So this is like getting a, a fresh perspective or seeing, seeing. I don't feel like this is negative. There's something happening here. Um, you have some doubts if you want to move something forward. Yeah, with a particular person, place, or thing. Okay, you might have something, uh, maybe another opportunity comes up to you at the end of July. And then you decide that you don't want to have some kind of reunion okay with what these people here okay let me see let's see what your hopes are an interesting okay wow seven of swords so <laughs> scorpio feels like you're hoping you could just sneak away maybe sneak away from a situation or just run away i feel like that's what you're hoping that you can just run away okay you don't have to deal with something <coughs> excuse me I feel like you don't want to have to be direct about something. Um, you would much rather just not deal with something. Non-confrontational energy here. Okay. Some of you might be meeting the one at the end of July. There might be somebody here. Showing up. In whatever path right now as you're listening to this reading in the beginning uh, well like july 15th 16th like that time period whatever you are saying yes to right now you're going to say no to by the end of the month because something else is going to come in here and change your perspective or change your your choice okay yeah you you just want to run away here and not have to deal with a situation here you're hoping that you that's what you can do you just just be just not have to make a decision there might be a lot of options and you don't want to choose okay you might be pulled in a lot of different directions and you just don't want to have to deal you rather just run away uh, let's see the outcome okay <clears throat> you got four of swords oh boy you got the eight of swords well healing some Okay, so this is tough. I mean, this is renewal, renewing, because there's a, this Eight of Swords energy is very like self-sabotage. This is an energy of like feeling like a victim um, or feeling like you're trapped or you can't get out of something, even though you can. Your thought process is keeping you trapped. Your mind, there's an insecurity kind of thing happening here. And... Um, but the, the Four of Swords is a healing, a renewal about that. Let me see. Okay. But you're blocking. Okay. Seven of Wands, the outcome. You're going to push back. You just want rest. You want to be, I feel like, left alone. You want to be kind of like in quiet, withdrawn with, with some thoughts, and you don't want anybody prying, which is really interesting. Okay. Um... What's going on with this Queen of Pentacles? Okay, there's an offer coming in. 
from the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, it's a reunion. This might be somebody that you knew in the past. Male or female energy, like I said. You're reconnecting. So it feels to me like you're you're on this path that you're moving forward to do something. And that you're like, yes, yes, okay, okay, yes, yes. And then there's some harsh energy that happens at the end of July. Words. It's some harsh words. Uh, where there's a rethink happening here um, and then there's a, a, rec a, re a reconciliation happening here and now you having to you know make a decision or figure out what do you want to do do you want to reunite with people places and things or do you just want to stay solo okay stay withdrawn or be on your own um, and this is also let's see this is the Virgo card as well so there could be like do you, you know your advice is to seek more information okay from yourself and what you want here i feel like um who else is on the table here pisces okay for some of you um not much in the way of major arcana um maybe we will go with another scorpio aquarius um taurus or leo as well okay let me get a couple other messages because it looked like it looks like you're 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 meeting the one i mean you're definitely connecting with someone you're meeting the love of your life <coughs> okay um maybe somebody lives where there's palm trees because we have palm trees okay let's see let me see what your love messages are here okay very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you so yeah that's what i mean you're gonna be you're gonna be come upon a decision whether you want to move forward with something or not <clears throat> or go back to something or not but uh, whatever you think you're sure of right now that's going to shift your energy is going to shift and there's like going to be hold on a minute i feel like you're going to be like all right hang on hold on wait a minute something else has come up is this what i want to do is this not what i want to do okay there's reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life scorpio okay this person, um, there's a lot of love here. Okay. Yeah, and trust situation is calling for you to have faith. Well, Scorpio, you have whatever you want, right? Whatever you need, you, that's what you have to do for yourself. Let me see. Let me just get a couple of love messages here for you. There's definitely a reconciliation situation coming up for you that... Um, is going to be a make or break kind of thing okay i remember every detail of that day and <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> oh sorry i thought i turned that off i've got the worst like every time i don't know if you guys know but like when you speak i should probably drink like some warm water before i talk i've been doing this for so many years and the vibration just I don't know. It, may, it brings everything up, I guess. Um, so integrity, does the situation align with your values and morals? Okay. Somebody's thinking about um, a particular time together and they remember every detail of that day. Okay, let me see. You also have what's external to you, opportunities to date a lot of different people. Um but I don't know that you are wanting to show yourself. Okay. All right. Self-care. Okay. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. And you've got someone here saying that their life is not as together as it seems. Okay. And there you go with decision again. It's time to decide about this relationship very soon there's a decision do you want to reconcile with someone or not or do you want to keep moving because it looks like you have some plans for things that you want to do but you're questioning or you're doubting well not like doubting and fear but you're reweighing things if this is the direction you want to go and it might be because somebody's showing up all right scorpio i'm going to leave your reading there this is for the end of July, and then in August, I'm going to start doing the collective love reading, daily collective love reading for all the signs, okay? So keep your eye out for that, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys very soon. Take care.